This is Alexandra Villahuelabergo and you're watching another episode of ABA Wednesday. Today's episode is going to be kind of a quick and simple guide to your seven chakras. Now before I begin, I want to say that I am not an expert in energies and chakras and meditation. I am not an alternative healer. I am none of that. Basically, I decided to make this video because after I posted the anxiety video, I had a lot of people send me questions about chakras, about what are the seven chakras, what are chakras. So I realized that there's a lot of people out there who don't know what their seven chakras are and how important they are. So I thought I'd make a video about it to explain it quickly to you guys. So let's begin. First of all comes your root chakra. I always start by explaining and talking about the root chakra because I think that the root chakra is kind of the foundation to your other chakras. If the root chakra is not balanced, if the root chakra is not properly tuned in, it's going to cause the other chakras to also be closed and not be tuned in. So your root chakra is located at the base of your spine. Now I also want to say that your chakras are invisible. You cannot see them. They are energy fields if we can call them like that. So it's not something that you can can just look at and or do a uh, you know go to the doctor and for him to look at absolutely not it's basically energy field so root chakra located at the base of your spine what is the root chakra for the root chakra helps you to feel balanced in your life it helps you to feel grounded it helps you to feel rooted basically in the life that you are living it also helps you to feel kind of insecurity it's kind of your survival uh, chakra so basically if in your life right now you feel like you have a lot of fears you feel like there's anxiety uh, you feel like you don't belong well it's probably because your root chakra is closed and it's not tuned in and once again if it's not tuned in well your other chakras also will be not tuned in then comes your sacral chakra your sacral chakra is basically located between once again the end of your spine and your stomach so kind of around here that's kind of the sexual chakra it's the chakra that um, if it is not tuned in if it is not well balanced your sexual life is probably not going to be well balanced too and it's probably going to be pretty much closed so that not only is it for the sexuality but it's also with your relationships your close relationships around you so that chakra once again it is very very important and if it is close well you will have difficulties in your interpersonal life with others and also in your sexual life then comes your solar plexus chakra which is located in your not in but where your belly button area is basically and that chakra helps you in your willpower so that's the chakra really that's gonna uh, push you to accomplish your goals and your dreams it's the thing that really um, helps you when it comes to effectiveness and to wanting to really just wake up and make things happen. So if you feel like in your life, once again today, you feel like you don't have really willpower, you don't have that motivation, you feel like you're not really going after your goals and dreams, well, it's probably because your solar plexus chakra is closed. Then comes the heart chakra. So that's located where your heart is around the area of your heart. And that's for uh, the love, the love that you feel for others, for uh not just people but really uh, everything living in the world it's also for your compassion it's your emotional side it's uh what makes you really feel like you have love for others and even for yourself so your heart chakra if you feel like not just in relationships with a partner but you feel like you don't feel love for people you feel like you're not receiving love that you're not giving love what well, is probably because your heart chakra is closed so you need to use different techniques such as meditation such as uh, using crystals uh, there can be different things that you can do to open your different chakras but it's very important that you start working on it so that energy field can be healed and so that your life can be healed then comes your throat chakra so of course it is located where your throat is and that's your ability to communicate with others not just talk but also in writing and being creative so if you feel like you have trouble saying what you feel saying what you think you have trouble communicating your feelings with others well it is probably because your throat chakra is closed then comes your third eye chakra, which is located in between your eyes, or should I say in between your eyebrows. We always hear the term of the third eye, which allows you to see uh, and to have, not to see, but to have this intuition. It's basically the third eye that sees what the two eyes of the human body don't see. Uh, a lot of people don't get to that level ever in their lives, because if your other chakras are not properly tuned in and balanced, it's gonna be impossible for you to have 
this chakra here so the third eye chakra to open and to finally have this very strong connection with your intuition and with your higher self and finally comes the last and seventh chakra which is located on top of your head it is called the crown chakra so it's basically the crown of the king or the queen that you are and when this chakra is open well balanced and tuned in what's gonna happen is that you're gonna have a very very strong connection with a higher source with a higher power which can then lead to having psychic abilities I think that all of the human beings in the world we have psychic powers it's just that because we don't know how to balance our chakras and because we're not really connected uh, they're kind of hidden if we can say it like that so these are the seven chakras I hope that this video helped uh, you to understand this as I said there's a lot more information what I want you to understand is that I always say it where we are energy beings we are made of energy and of course I believe that there is much more than just seven chakras in our bodies but these are the main seven chakras and for you to feel uh, connected for you to feel balanced for you to feel good basically about life well you need to uh, start working on opening completely your chakras and uh, tuning them in if we can uh, say that and you're gonna see how much your life is gonna to start to change I remember a point in my life where I felt like um, things were not manifesting properly and I wasn't getting what I wanted and I feel like stuck and I then saw and realized that it was because my chakras were not properly open and when I started to open them well things started coming in my life so I started to manifesting much more quickly than before and you're gonna see how it's really gonna change uh, your life also uh, there's a lot of alternative healers that use uh, the seven chakras and heal the seven chakras and by doing that actually have healed uh, physical diseases or even emotional diseases so it's really really uh, it's real you know that this thing is real whether you want to believe it or not uh, these teachings have been around for um, centuries really um, and humanity sometimes you know different parts of the world have known about it and humanity sometimes have forgot about it but I think that we are living in a very amazing time where people are starting to awaken and see uh, that really we are energy and we uh, attract energies and it depends on what kind of energy we are tuned in so I hope it helped don't forget to uh, share don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single Wednesday and uh, you can also go on my website alexandravillawell.com if you want to register to my email list and have e free emails and tips and tricks from me so that is it for today I will see you next week my name is Alexandra Villawell Abrego bye bye